Good morning, Navigators. Welcome to Sunday Morning Chapel. Enjoy the songs, and we'll be back with you with the lesson in a moment. Take your Bibles to 1 Corinthians chapter 13. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, we're going to do our final lesson for this month in the book of 1 Corinthians. And our text is verse number 13, but we'll be going back to the preceding verses in our study. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse number 13, And now abideth faith, hope, charity, these three, but the greatest of these is charity. The question I have today is, what makes charity so great? What makes charity so great? 
We're going to look at it in three parts. We're going to see what charity is, what charity is not, and what charity does. So verse number 4 of chapter 13 tells us what charity is. Charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself, is not puffed up. Charity is patient. It is kind. It is gentle. It is selfless. It is humble. It suffers long. It is kind. It envieth not. It is selfless. It vaunteth not itself. And is not puffed up. It is humble. If you have charity, you're going to be patient. If you have charity, you're going to be humble. You're going to be selfless. You'll worry about the state of others more than your own matter. You'll not be filled with pride of who you are or where you are or your station in life. Verse number 5 tells us what charity is not. Charity doth not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, and thinketh no evil. Charity is not mean, selfish, quick-tempered, wily, divisive, deceiving, or destructive. These are not good things. These are not good things to have in anyone's life, but this is what charity is not. So if these are things that ring true to you, not behaving, looking out for yourself, easily provoked, or thinking of evil to do and to do to others, you don't have charity. That is not charity. Charity is the opposite. The opposite of mean and quick-tempered is patient. The opposite of selfish is selfless. The opposite of prideful is humble. And the opposite of wily and destructive is kindness. But we see an example in the scriptures about how one cannot have charity but try to have the good virtues. And that's the story of Jonah. Jonah at Nineveh. He went for a good cause. He went for a good thing to do the will of the Lord, to prophesy, to share a message. But he done it with such lack of charity that after Nineveh was spared, he was selfish, mean, quick-tempered, mad, destructive, and mean. And he left tomorrow on his testimony, accomplishing his greatest task in life. So we see what charity is. We see what charity is not. Verse number 11 gives us an example, a comparison. And it says, When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. Childish things. Charity is childlike. And there's a difference between childish and childlike. Being childish is to be mean, quick-tempered, selfish, envious. But to be childlike is to have compassion, patience, selflessness, humility, and kindness. The Lord speaks about childlike, not childish faith, but childlike faith. There is a difference. So we see what charity is. What charity is not, we're going to see what charity does. What does charity do? Well, verse number one, And though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. Charity makes what we say sweeter and more meaningful. Paul says, Though I could speak with the greatest orators of mankind or as an angelic messenger, if I did not have charity, it's just a bunch of loud noise and a bunch of racket. Charity makes the things we say sweeter and more meaningful. The opposite of Jonah, he spoke the truth. He told exactly what was to be done. 
but he did not have charity. Verse number two. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. Charity makes what we know wiser and more impactful, and it makes what we believe stronger and more resilient. Verse number three. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. Charity makes what we give richer and more plenteous, and it makes what we offer more profitable. We can give a million dollars to feed the hungry, but if we don't do it with charity, if we don't do it with love, it's as if we've never done it. It continues. It makes what we say sweeter. It makes what we know wiser. It makes what we believe stronger. It makes what we give richer. It makes what we offer of ourselves, even our bodies, more profitable. Verse number 8. What's, what does charity do? Charity never faileth. Charity never fails. It always works, and it never goes out of style. It never fails. If we use charity and practice love, it never does not work. Verse number 12, what does charity do? For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face, now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. What does charity do? It has great potential. One never knows what charity, what love will accomplish. Though we do a deed now, today, at this moment, at this time, we're but looking through a glass, through a darkly. We can't see into the future. You don't know what one kind act will do, what one act of love, what one pursuit of charity will accomplish. We don't know who it will affect. We don't know how it will affect them, and we may not know when it will affect them. But it will have effect because of his charity. It is selfless, it is humble, it is patient, it is kind, it is never failing. And we may not see the results today. We don't know how far into the future a charitable an act of love will go. But because charity never fails and it never loses its value and it never goes out of style, it will not be lost in time and it may one day blossom down the road though we cannot see that far into the future. So we know what charity is. We know what charity is not. And, it, and we see what charity does. What we do know is charity is great and good and it can accomplish a great deed and we will not accomplish a greater level of well-doing without it it is necessary in all things to do all things to all people thank you for joining us today a couple things before we leave the first Sunday of March we'll be back here in chapel live in person with Navigator's Sunday Chapel, but we'll continue to do the broadcast. So if you're unable to make it to in-person worship, the broadcast will be available to you online to enjoy the songs and the Bible lesson. And also, we're still taking up the offering, the change offering for the children's home in India for the next several weeks. Any questions about that, you may contact the church and we'll direct you to where you need to be.